Now we want to bring to the stage, this man has a record of 42 wins, one loss, one draw, 41 wins coming by way of knockout. He is the former WBC heavyweight champion of the world. Ladies and gentlemen, the Olympic bronze medalist representing Tuscaloosa, Alabama, with a knockout percentage of over 93%, here is the bronze bomber, Deontay Wilder. It is great to see the bronze bomber, Deontay Wilder, in the house. Ladies and gentlemen, the bronze bomber himself, as he takes on Tyson Fury this Saturday night. Deontay, it is great to see you. We've seen the videos, we've seen the photos. You look in the best shape of your life. How are you feeling as you head into Saturday night's colossal matchup? I feel great. I mean, I feel amazing. You know, like I said before, we done broke ourselves down. I'm uh, rejuvenated, reinvented, and I'm ready to go. Saturday night is uh, it's gonna be a, a, a special night. I think the fans are, are in for a treat, as they always are when the, when the bronze bombers step in the ring. 21 wins coming by way of knockout. The lineal heavyweight champion of the world once again making the ring walk here at T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas as he defends his championship against Deontay Wilder. Here is the Gypsy King, Tyson Fury. Christina, I tell you. Let's go, Let's go, Mikey, got what you need? What's up, Tyson? How are you? Good and good and good. Are you? I'm doing well, thank you. Thanks for joining us here today. Finally. Fight week, God, I feel like it's been forever to get to this point. How 20 months in the making, so uh, we're all glad we're here, and it's uh, glad I brought a good British weather with me. Nice and cold for Las Vegas. You actually have a shirt, on, a vest on, though, this time. <laughs> now, look, Deontay was up here earlier. Malik Scott, focused, ready to go. I know you don't pay attention to social media. You don't pay attention to what has been said, but he was asked about if he was going to be a more refined or a brand new Deontay Wilder, and he feels like it's going to be the reintroduction of him. Do you really, really feel that there's anything new in this amount of time that has passed that the world could see from him? I think you could go to college and get a master's degree in nearly two years. So for a boxer to change his style, it's very easy to do. But no matter what Deontay Wilder does, I'm still going to knock him the fuck out. <laughs> In how many rounds, Tyson? Quick time, quick fashion. Let's go. So get your beers and get in your seat fight. Or... Uh, like my trainer Sugar Hill says, we just bang and get it over with. How excited are you to finally close the chapter on this book in the sense that both you and him will move on after Saturday night? Oh my God, it's been, it's been a long time coming. And um, I can't wait, you know, uh, it, it's gonna be a special moment for me. Uh, to get back in there and um, to show the people, to, re to, to reintroduce myself to the world, to show the people what I'm all about, you know. Uh, like I, again, I'm, I'm very excited. Every time it's the week of the fight, there's always the, the, the time where we're like, ah, it's the hardest time because we have to wait, you know. Sometimes we, we uh, get confused what, what day of the week it is, you know. We're, we're always rushing ahead of the day. I'm like, oh, it's just still Tuesday, or oh, it's just still this and that, you know. But, uh, it's, 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 it's going to be great, man. I'm looking forward uh, to the night. I'm looking forward to the fans and the electrifying, the, 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 electri that, the electricity that's going to be in the arena. You know, all that I miss and, uh, and uh, coming out, seeing all my fans and uh, on this one special night. What do you make of everything, although you don't pay attention to it, you've been asked about it time and time again, about basically him not accepting the loss and there being a, a handful of other reasons about why you could have possibly won that fight. What do you What do you say and what do you think about that mental fortitude to not actually accept what happened in the last fight? It just shows you that um, I'm living in Wilder's mind rent-free the whole time, two years. Every, t every time he looks in the mirror, he sees Tyson Fury. Every time he goes to bed, before he closes his eyes at night, he sees a Gypsy King. And everything he wakes up and thinks about in the morning, he thinks of Tyson Fury. Even when he goes to sleep at night with his missus, he's thinking of Tyson Fury. You know, it's, uh, 
It's crazy. It must be crazy to be obsessed with a, with a man like me so much in his life that crazy. Just it's just crazy. But you know, I've not really made too much of what he says because this time I'm going to put a knuckle duster on each hand and then I'm going to go into the fight. I might even put double knuckle dusters. A couple egg whites extra. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe. Or maybe I even bring like a steel baseball bat into the ring, maybe in my trousers or something, who knows? Can't tell. Can't tell with the Gypsy King. I'm magic. I'm like Houdini. Let's go, champ. Let's go, champ. On Saturday night, how you see the fight playing out with you and Tyson Fury in your third fight on pay-per-view? I see me beating them up and then knocking them out. You know, many things that uh there's many things that uh that uh, I visualized in, in, in the first fight along with the second, you know, and um, I didn't execute game plan. Um, but this time around, it's just, it just a different feeling, you know, all the way around, you know, just all the surrounding around me, the atmosphere, you know, saying that just the energy in, a, as a whole, you know, and um, I'm looking forward to putting on a great performance come October the 9th, you know, and uh, those that's going to be in the arena, they're going to feel the, the, the electricity that's in there. And those that, that, that can't make it, don't be afraid to click that button on Fox pay-per-view, baby. You don't want to miss it. You took two huge right hands from Deontay Wilder in the second fight. He floored you twice in the first fight, and you got back up. What does that do to a fighter mentally when you know you've taken pretty much everything he's had to offer and still won the fight? You know, I've never experienced it because I've never actually, um, someone's never done that to me. But Wilder's still... Still thinking about what happened in 2018. How the fuck did he get up in round 12 after being knocked out? It's like you hit a guy with your best shot, you knock him out, he gets back up, gets back into you, and then does exactly what he says he's going to do in the rematch, um, and takes me out, you know? So there's not much I can say. I'm not here to slate Deontay Wilder. He is what he is. Oh, now? <laughs> Honestly, I think the guy's a real piece of shit. He's a real piece of work. And nobody or nothing will ever change my mind. When we was first going to fight, I thought he was a decent man, like a family man, you know, doing it for his kids and all that. But now I know he's a real piece of garbage, piece of rubbish. Um, and I'm going to knock him spark out on Saturday night. And I cannot wait to get him in that ring and give him a good hiding, for sure. I might even take it slow with him. I might take it slow and punish him, make him say no mass. Are you promising us a KO against Tyson? That's what you have to come and wait with me, you know? Uh, I believe, in, I believe in what we've been doing in camp. I believe in my team and the ability that I have. Like I said, Malik has brought the best out of me. Things, uh, things that, uh, that, I, that I haven't done, you know, because I haven't had to. But to bring it out and be able to do it on a consistent basis, I think it's going to be it's gonna be beneficial for me. And uh, I'm, just, I'm, I'm looking forward to just playing my talent and my ability up inside the ring. You know, uh, everyone knows I have power, and my power never diminished from the first two to 12. But uh, I want to show a little bit more. You know, uh, like I said, I'm going to beat them up, and I'm going to knock them out. With the, the extra weight on you, if you have to revert back to boxing on the back foot. Look at me, I'm in fantastic shape. <laughs> I'm ready to go for 15 rounds. Do you feel like more weight on the just extra time that went past? Do you feel like it benefits him to get better and get up? It doesn't really matter how good they want to come in. It's really unimportant to me. They can train the whole life. life. He had a lot of time to work on anything. Yeah, they had a lot of time, but he's had however long he's been a pro, 13 years. And he still can't beat me. So, you know, what's another few months going to do? Tyson, uh, we just spoke to Deontay. He said uh, he went Saturday. He said that there would be no fourth fight. Uh, any thoughts on that, or is there no concern? There won't be a fourth fight, because I'll nail him quick, and then I'm on to the next doss, or whatever that may be. Is this, is this it? If you, because how you felt about the last fight, if you knock him out this time, is there no fight number four as far as you're concerned? This is it. This is it. This closed the book of uh, me and Fury. This, this is it. Uh, uh, this is, this is it. It's a victory. Is, huh? Or do you, want to, do you want him to end his career? In this I mean, that's up to the man himself. You know, uh, I'm not here to uh, to uh, decide on another man's fate, whether he, he retire or not. And that has to be within the man, you know. We all know our body. We know what it's been through. We know our conditioning, and we know what position we, we hold in life. And, uh, you know, I know I have my time when I want to leave, and, uh, and I got goals to to accomplish before I do that, and I'm gonna fulfill that, and uh, and then I'm out of here. You know, that's why I want everyone to appreciate appreciate us while we're here. Because when I'm gone, I'm gone. You know, I'm not money driven, and money not gonna define me. I have great uh, financial people behind me, 
And uh, I don't have to strap up another glove in the day of my life right now because of my decision to make it, because of the way I choose to live my life. And uh, and I'm proudly to say that. And uh, But uh, I got things I got to do. Hello. People, when you're six foot nine, people always want to try and chop my tree down to the body block. When you're a fat fucker like me, it just bounces off. It's like hitting a tire with a hammer. Ping. It bounces off me. But it's like a like flubber. You throw something at it, it just picks off. It doesn't matter. Body punches don't matter. But what body punches will do for the Ontario Wilders game, not town. Tyson, Does it counter Tyson, into the head, Tyson? Tyson, as you feel so confident as you is right now, win, lose, or draw, you still hold your confidence high as you still do, right? Who got more to lose if, they, if, if the fight went to a draw? If neither one won. If he just said neither one of y'all won. Uh, well, <laughs> it, it won't go through a draw, but let's just say it does, then it, it is what it is. What God's will will be, what God's will will be. We're only men. We can only train, eat, sleep, repeat, do our best in the ring. And it's all fate. Whatever's meant for you in history will happen. And if it's not meant for you in history, then you're not going to do it. And that's all she wrote. So why do you always... I don't want to predict around because I'm not sure what I want to do. I don't want to knock him out, but I don't know if I want to do it in two rounds or do it in five rounds.